Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough. We are right where we left off last time. If I bring up the map, we are just a bit north of the Shrine of Honor. You'll see coming uh, out of the, uh, the, the marker I've got there, there's kind of a little peninsula coming down. So we're like right at the top of that peninsula. Um, and we're going to explore that in a minute. We're going to continue our way up this west coast toward the spirit wood and we'll see what we find and we'll see how far we get today i expect there'll be lots of things to kill because there's gonna be lots of things that want to kill us but uh we're mainly about exploring and and you know we've got dungeons to find who knows what else we might find we might find some more shrines um we might find another village that we've never seen before who knows? So let's uh, take the map away and let's get down to it. So we're going to come down here and you'll see we've got some mountains here. So this is once again that little, that little peninsula. So there's a limit to how far we can go. When we get a ship, uh, you know, I keep saying that. It'll be interesting to see what is there. All right, we got some orcs already. We got a bit of a mountainous region here. Uh, okay, we got to deal with the orcs. All right. Let's see. I'm going to bring you up here. I'm going to come down. You can go up. You can come over. You can come up. And Iolo, you can help him. And I'll have to wait until that guy gets down into firing position we may have to move up i think i think we will move up okay i'm moving up and shamano's moving up and attack oh good job good job joffrey okay julia now's your big chance we do need to we do need to check on um where we are level up wise whoops my bad that was supposed to be attack there. All right. Barely wounded. Heavily wounded. Bring Iolo up and we can get all rangy rangy there with that guy. Okay, good. Are you guys gonna come down or we have to go chase ya? All right, there we go. He entered into our nefarious trap. He's fleeing. Well, he was fleeing. He's not anymore. Okay, so it looks like we need to chase this guy down because he doesn't seem to be too inclined. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. We're going to make sure we'll have uh, Joffrey and Julia make sure that he's not going to flank us or try to flank us. And I guess I'll plug up, uh, I'll plug up this hole here. And in the meantime, presumably he'll come down to uh, deal with, um, I think it's Shamino that's in front of, uh, in front of him. Oh, it's Joffrey. It's Joffrey. So, oh, an Iola just says, I don't need no help. All right, so who's going to get it? Uh, I'll have Iolo of the Nimble Fingers. So 63 gold. All right, so let's, I want to go on the inside of this range, I think, not on the outside. I, I, I still want to stick to the coast, but oh, this looks interesting. And look what we have here. We have a dungeon. Uh, so our second dungeon, we found Dungeon Wrong many, many episodes ago. And now this is our second one. Now, I'm not I, I'm not prepared to uh, go Dungeon Spelunking today. But uh, let's at least, I want to at least be able to identify it. So we can see it's in Dungeon Destard. Destard? Destard. Which is, I believe, the dungeon that's associated with Compassion. Uh, no, I take that out. Valor. Valor. The start is coward. Duh. Um, so now we know where the start is. We've, uh, we'll, we'll get that located on the map uh, for next time. 
so that's cool. All right, let's let's continue down and around and follow. I didn't think it was that rocky. So here we can see the um, some islands here. So there are there are maybe I'll bring the map up briefly here, and you can see there's a, a bunch of islands there. We've got this uh, peninsula, this big peninsula that's coming down, this big bay, I guess you might call it, and there's this little cluster of islands. We're seeing one of those right there. Uh, so we're going to, can, going to continue to move up and go around and check that out. And you can see we're getting into the a bit of the spirit wood here. We've got lots of trees. It's not quite the deep forest, but it's close. All right, so here we are. We're at the top. Oh, mayor man! I don't. I don't really want. I don't really want to fight him. I don't think. No, I don't really think I want to fight him. Oh, we're gonna fight him. <laughs> My desires be darned. All right. Um, I'm wondering how tough these guys are. I really didn't want to move myself there. All right. Well, the good news is we seem to be, you know, he can't, I'm assuming, can't come on land. He's fleeing. Oh, it's a Nixie. Beautiful. And we killed him. We don't get anything for that. Hello, Mr. Skelly and Orc. We'll probably have to kill you on our way back. Okay, so here we are. This is down at the point. And more of those little islands here. I don't think there's anything here that we can see. If no, no, there's those little rocky islands. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing of note there for us. So let's uh, go up this way. Oh, uh, orcs. I wonder if that's that guy we just saw. It might be. All right, you go that way and I'll go this way. And you go that way and hmm I'm gonna have you come down and you go over and you stay put and me go over and you go up and you stay put and you go up and you stay put and me go over and attack oh that was stupid Julia should have attacked there all right, we got the first one killed. Excellent. So come on. Oh, that guy's fleeing. All right. He's fleeing, but maybe he's not fleeing. All right, and I can get... Ooh, killed him with one blow. Nice. Yeah, that guy's thinking about fleeing. All right, he's gone. Oh, I didn't want... Oh, golly. All right, let's get over. Let's you get over. All right, the orc has kind of <laughs> saved me from myself. And my own ridiculous way of moving our pieces around. All right, Shamino, do it to it. Um, all right, good, we got that. Uh, I guess I Olo. All right. Let's continue up our, our way here. Keeping an eye on the coastline. At some point, we probably just need to go through the spirit wood and just kind of meander through the forest and see what holy crap I don't know what those are I'm gonna cast protection uh, no we've 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 fought the Cyclops before I don't remember them being super tough although I think they throw rocks yes they do more of the diagonal rock throwers that I dislike so much. Okay. 
All right, bring you over. You wait. Attack. Let's see how this goes. Okay, they're already already heavily wounded. There are a lot of them. I'm kind of wondering if I if I should. And I don't know what the heck those three-legged pack upside down Pac-Man things are. No clue. They look terrifying. Like they're going like they're going to eat my face. I'm not really in favor of things eating my face. Okay, so that Cyclops was critical. So if I could get a hit on him, gone. That's a good sign. All right. All right. Let's do it to it. Lightly wounded. Get him down here where the swords are and the various other things. I'd like to be able to get our melee people engaged instead of just having them chewing up all the da all of the um, damage. Whoops, 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 that was stupid. Just taking a practice swing. I need to get him into a position where he can do something. Okay, that Cyclops thinks he's fleeing, but he got nowhere to go. Take him out, Julia. All right. What in the... I missed it. Whatever it is, I missed it. Shamino. What is going on? A Zorn. Oh, dear. It's already heavily wounded, though, so that's... That's good news. I got a Cyclops that's trying to, to flank me. Still heavily wounded. Good. That's heavily wounded. I'm going to deal with the Cyclops uh, trying to uh, do bad things. Alrighty then. All right, we got we got that down. That guy's gone. We, uh, I, I'm wondering if these Zorns have got some sort of an enchantment to make us miss, because even though I, I know our our um, record isn't super great as far as missing, I feel like we are missing... Well, maybe not, because we can't hit that guy either. <laughs> I felt like we were missing a lot more than usual, but I, I could be... I could be all wet on that. It's, it's extremely possible. Okay, the Zorn's critical. That's the best news I've had all day. And now the Zorn is fleeing. Literally. Okay, he's not wasting any time. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a chance to do anything with the Zorn unless he starts fleeing... Uh, in a northerly fashion. It's I'm not expecting to be the case. Hey, he did just there. Yeah, he's... There we go. We got rid of him. Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna escape. Well, maybe he's not. Now's your chance, Iolo. Oh, geez. Oh, he got away. All right. Iolo's got more health. <laughs> oh, look at our gold. We're, oh, geez. Another snake. Now, snakes are not evil creatures. Snakes are not evil creatures. And they can also poison us. So if we can avoid it, it's better. Now that, I believe, that what we're seeing on the left hand side of the screen there, that is um, one of the islands of Scarabray. It might be the island of Scarabray, where Scarabray is at. If I come over here. Oh, I got seahorses, and that is Scarabray. Oh, jeez. I got Ettons now. I'm not scared of Ettons. In fact, maybe we'll just take them on. Uh, yeah, let's just take them on. <laughs> <laughs> when there's only one of them. It's like, yeah, okay. Let's just do this thing. 
that he can get into a position where we can hit him. I'm going to move Julia so that if he wants to hit any of us, he can't stand there. Come on, Lazy Atten. All right, beautiful. Come on, Iolo. All right. I'm going to move him over. Move him over. Her up. He can attack. I'm kind of feeling like Iolo and I should be in the front more. Um... because we got the most health you know um, so maybe we should do something more like this I mean we've also got the worst armor but we've got the we've got the most health so before I was using them as because they were melee they got they have to be where they can be within arm's reach if you will but of course, even despite my best attempts, because of the way he decides to shift around, um, we end up right in our usual our usual configuration. So he's fleeing, right? I think he's fleeing. I didn't. I wasn't looking at the screen. Okay, get. I guess I will. All right, ninety gold. Look at our gold. We're almost at a thousand gold. All right, so yes, yeah, so that is is Scarbray. So we are at this point. We are kind of halfway up. Now, if we come over here, oh dear, we have orcs and a troll. Yes, I'm I'm very upset. Can you tell? All right, I gotta move you, move move you over. I'm gonna move you up, and then you can wait. You can wait. You can wait. Attack. ILO. Good job. I, what is, I, I don't understand what kind of attack that is. Because it's not a rock. It's not a rock. But it doesn't have the magic sound. So he's got like a hammer in his hand. Maybe he's like throwing a hammer at me. Kind of like with the sling. It looks, it looks basically the same. So maybe he's... Maybe that's what he's doing. He's throwing, throwing a hammer at me like I would throw a dagger. If I wanted to. He's not doing a, a huge amount of damage to me. But I want to... I want to take him out because... He is the only guy in this... In this little cadre here that's got... Uh, a ranged attack. Now he's fleeing, he says. We will see about that. Alright. Oh, Iolo. Come on, he's right in front of you. Of course, I'm missing too. Come on, Chamino. Lightly wounded. So now that orc is fleeing. All right, I'm going to come down. Practice swing for Joffrey. Hello, do your thing. All right, now you're just ticking me off there, Mr. Troll. Um, let's wait. Attack. 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 All right. It's like they think uh, Julia is an easy target. I don't want you to flee, Mr. Bond. I want you to die. All right, so we got one of these bad boys left. All right, let's let's box him in and make him to feel our wrath. Okay, there we go. Uh, I guess I will. Thirteen gold. All right, so let's go back to the sea over here. There we go. So now eventually here we're going to come up and we're going to find Empath Abbey. We are, are heading in that direction. We aren't there yet, but um, as we follow this, we're going to have to take on these rogues. 
I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. I like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Don't take my gold, bro. <laughs> Stay with my gold, man. All right, we got kind of a small funnel of death here. That guy's heavily wounded. Oh, now he's fleeing. Maybe not. Ugh. Shamino, you're killing me. Ilo, he's lightly wounded. Let me see if I can get this guy that's fleeing. I think I can kill. Well, I can kill him. Hopefully, because I think these are considered evil. I think. Oh, let's see. I will. All right. Let's. Um. I'm concerned a bit about Joffrey and Julia's health. Let's take a quick look at stats. So I'm actually only, I think, 200, just under 200. If I get to 1,600, that will take me to level 6. So that's cool. Uh, Shamino needs about another 50, 53 to be sp specific, to get to level 4. So that's good. And Joffrey needs a bit more. Julie needs about 100. And then Iolo... He just went up to level five, so he's got a ways to go before he goes anywhere. Let me, uh, I don't remember what we're doing on, we don't have a ton of reagents left. We may have to go get some soon. It's like fireball, sulfur, ash, and black pearl. We actually got a lot for that. Cure is garlic and ginseng, so we can do a bit of that. Uh, those are kind of the mo ones we use the most. I've, I've used a couple of protect spells, and that's sulfur ash, ginseng, and garlic. So I can make, I could replenish that. I don't, I'm not going to do it right at this moment. Um, yeah, we are totally out of pr protect spells. Yeah, I probably better do that soon. Maybe I'll do that off camera. All right. Um, but we're going to hold up in camp here and try to get uh, everybody's health back up. And hopefully we won't get disturbed in the middle of the night. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so let's move up. And what I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is, is we'll, we'll have Empath Abbey as our, as our goal because we're not that far from it. And maybe we will... Oh, geez, that snake's back. If we can find the Abbey, we will, we will treat that as our goal for this episode. Goodbye, Mr. Orc. Oh, attack by orcs. And a troll. I am shocked. I think Iolo can attack. He can. All right. I'm going to wait for Mr. Uh, Troll to get lined up with me. In the meantime, let's take out his henchmen, his hench orcs. Okay. That guy is fleeing, or so he thinks. We'll say who's allowed to flee. And it is not thee. Get him, Chamino. Heavily wounded. Excellent. Excellent first shot. <clears throat> All right. Here's the big guy. And <laughs> he's fleeing already. I we keep missing that guy. All right. There we go. 16 gold, so we're over a thousand gold, which is excellent. Um, okay, this is interesting. There be mountains here that I can't cross. Hmm. All right, so let's go down along this mountain range. Maybe we won't <laughs> make it to Empath Abbey. These should be... I think these are the mountains... Oh, I think this this is the range, the mountain range that kind of goes around Lord British's castle. So we may have to go inland here. 
Yeah, because here's the gap. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> just four of them, so it's not like a super disturbing thing, but it's just the time it takes for them to get into position is annoying. Barely wounded. Let's see if we can fix that. Or maybe not. Because <laughs> all we're going to do is miss. All right, lightly wounded. Heavily wounded. I guess everybody's fleeing, everybody's fleeing, except for that one guy up there that's not fleeing. Now this guy doesn't appear to be fleeing. Okay, so who's not fleeing? I think this guy that's in this little middle section here is like the only guy that's not fleeing. All right, now that arc's fleeing. So one just successfully fled the scene. And I think that other guy that's up there, I think he's already fleeing. <sighs> Be nice if we could actually hit somebody. Okay, so he's gone. Come on, Joffrey, finish this up. All right, get who opens. All right. So here we are, uh, more orcs and rogues. Oh dear God! I I know the I know the um, I know the odds are not going to be bad, but it's just that I just it just takes so much time, <laughs> and it's like there's other things I want to do than you know kick these basic enemy orc butts. Okay. Uh, yes, that's what I was hoping to happen. I was hoping that one guy would peel off to deal with the threat that is Julia. And probably what I will do is I will send Iolo over to give her a little range assistance all right if she needs it she may not she keeps missing though but I have every confidence in Julia ah, okay so now he's fleeing finish him off all right good get I don't know 29 gold all right Come over here, you can stay there, you can come over, you can come up, you can attack. Oh wow, nice shot, Iolo, one kill, one shot kill. All right, and one shot miss, I'm no better. 
How dare you, sir? All right, that orc is fleeing. Toward me, as you do, you know. When somebody's hurt you and you want to flee, you know, you always flee toward the person that hurt you. Didn't you know that? Yeah, that's, that's standard, standard battle tactics right there. When fleeing the the uh, when fleeing the, the the field of battle, always flee toward the enemy. All right. All right. Finally, I can get something on him. He's heavily wounded already. That is excellent news. I'd be happy if he. And he does seem to be very focused on me, and that's okay. I've got the most hit points compared to any of our melee peeps. All right, he's gone. He is gone. Good job, Iolo. All right, so. I'm thinking this guy that's here off to the left is, is coming in. Yeah, it looks like it. Apparently. He wants a stab at Julia. Can we get this guy before he gets off the map? Apparently not. All right. Lightly wounded. And I miss. Heavily wounded. Good job, Julia. Uh, now he's fleeing. And he's gone. Uh, Iolo can. Just one. 1,109 gold pieces. That is spectacular. Spectacular. All right. I'm hoping we can take care of this guy in a ranged fashion. Because maybe that way we get to keep our gold. I'm all about keeping my gold in my pocket where it belongs. Oh, oh he's fleeing. Is he fleeing? He's acting like he's fleeing. He'd be smart to flee. Five to one is not great odds. Well, now he's fleeing. I don't I don't know that it said that he was fleeing before. Maybe I just missed it. Alright, get. Who opens it? Uh it doesn't matter. Me. Fifty one gold. So we're over here by We should find Lord British's castle, I think. I think. Or maybe not. Oh, gosh. See, here's where I should have cast, done some protection spells, but I did not. But I've had a spell I've been wanting to try out, and that's quickness. So what this will allow us to do is we can take two turns or three. Because we're moving so fast. All right. So let's me move me over. I'm probably going to want to cast a fireball on this demon dude. I don't like that. I don't want... I don't want Julia. It's interesting, she only got one turn. So I don't know if it's something to do with her distance from me. You can wait. You can wait. Maybe it's got something to do with their, with their um, stats. Because Shamino's got like five or six turns here. 
Maybe it's like dexterity or something. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that demon to to twig on her. All right, so you got multiple there. All right. All right, we got rid of him. Yes, come to us, little demon demon. I gotta say the quickness spell with the uh, sling is pretty effective. Because Iolo can get three or four shots off and if he only does half of those, then All right, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna cast Fireball North. Lightly wounded. You can come up there, attack, attack. Okay, good, that's done. All right, move over, move over, up. Up, up, up. I would just as soon not do another fireball if I don't have to. He's heavily wounded now, so that's good. Still heavily wounded. Beautiful. All right, 55. I got to figure out where I am. Okay, I think I, I came too far south. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's just like, man, you got no class. Yeah, so the quick fix spell, I, I like. I like. That's, I mean, for something like that where you're dealing with something that could be potentially very dangerous. We died once to a demon. Um, and so I like that. It gives us a nice edge. I might like that better than protection. All right. Good job. So we've got this one solitary orc to deal with. And that was easy. 22 gold. All right, so ready weapon. Ready, a weapon for Julia. All right, she's going to use her hands. All right, and then we're going to ready a weapon for Joffrey, I think it is. And he's going to use the mace. And then we're going to ready a weapon for Julia again. And she's going to get the axe. I want to see how that works better. I mean, because she's a ranger and it's supposed to work better with. Um... There we go. There's Britain. There's Britain and there's Lord British's castle. Very good. Let's kill some skellies. <laughs> We've killed a lot of orcs. But we haven't killed any skellies. Let's have some fun and kill some skellies. Since they're right there in our face. Let's see. Attack! I need to get him someplace where he can do something. And I'll bring her over here. And I will attack. I didn't want to do that. You gotta wait. You can... There we go. Oh, decide to go after him instead of me, huh? Well, that's what that got you. I should have had Julia attack. That was stupid. Is that guy fleeing? I don't know if he's fleeing or just decided he wanted... I think he is fleeing. The guy that was fighting Julia. That skeleton is fleeing. All right. Yeah, these guys are all fleeing. 
with the exception of the one there that Shamino's dealing with. And I don't think that we're going to catch up to them. I mean, if if uh, Iolo and I can get them with our slings, that's one thing. Get him, Iolo. Ah. Get me. All right, so let's... Uh, I think somebody was ready for a level up. And then we could get some we get some more health. So let's uh, just come in here and, and, and have a quick word with Lord British. What do I want to do? I want to climb. I had to think. I had to think. Stop. All right. Uh, okay, apparently nobody is ready for a level up yet. All right. All right. And boom, we are all healed up. Okay. All right, I think that's where I'm going to leave this. We're at uh, 42 minutes. So, yeah, I think this is a good place to leave it. So I will be back with another one where we'll probably continue our... Continue our... Um, exploration there's a lot of places we haven't been to yet but the uh, we had a we had the problem of that water uh, the serpent spine mountain range and then that water thing so we'll probably have to try to go around that and maybe get over by lock lake and and see if we can get around it so we can get up either that or we can just moon gate over to you and then from there we can explore on the other side of that river Maybe that'll be the easiest thing to do. So, but what that will be next time. And I hope you come back. So until then, be seeing you.